This is ablative laser resurfacing that I will occasionally use for wrinkles around the face. Um, and uh, complications or risks are as follows. Um, they can include itching, swelling and redness, uh, acne, at least temporarily because of some of the creams that we use for post-op care, infection, um, and there's a specific risk of if you get cold sores of a herpetic or herpes infection, which we would want to pre-treat, which can cause scarring if it occurred. Permanent changes in skin color, either hyperpigmentation or hypopigmentation, meaning whitening of the skin. So patient selection. Patients with significantly pigmented skin probably shouldn't have ablative laser resurfacing because of the risk of pigmentary change. With fair skinned, pale skinned people, prolonged redness can occur and uh, that will resolve in time, but also you can end up with um, white areas, um, which usually don't matter, but occasionally will. Um, so that's, in my uh, experience, the most common long-term negative uh, consequence of ablative laser resurfacing. Scars, if the resurfacing is done too deep or there's an infection, uh, and even um, in eyelid surgery, if, if the skin is uh, over lasered, it can cause scarring along the lid, anectropion or pulling down of the lower lid uh, in a negative fashion.